Hello everyone and welcome to this next video about computer configuration. After the previous video about hardware, we'll focus on software in this video, applications and operating systems. What exactly are they and what's the difference between them? Keep watching to find out. Software is everything you use on a computer or a mobile device to get things done, to perform certain tasks. In other words, programs. If you think about it, you probably know a lot of different programs. Microsoft Word, Google Chrome, or the different apps on your smartphone. All of these programs have to be written, have to be created by someone, which is called the programming. This programming is done by specialists, by writing down step by step what the computer has to do. This writing is done in code, which is why we also call it coding. And although most programs are written to help us, there are also people who write programs to trick us, like viruses or malware. But we'll cover that in another video. All software can be divided into two major types. On the one hand, we have the operating system, and on the other hand, we have application software. An operating system is the most important software on your device, since it allows your computer, your phone or your smartwatch to just start up and do its thing. The operating system therefore connects the hardware of your device to all the other applications you use. So without an operating system, your device simply won't work. There are several types of operating systems, each with its own features and layout. For general computers, Windows is the most well known, but there's also Mac OS for Apple computers and Linux, which is open source and free for everyone. For phones and tablets, we use Android or iOS. Every operating system has its own style, but they all do the same thing. They make sure your device works. Operating systems also receive regular updates. These updates add new features, improve performance and hopefully make your device faster. But most importantly, they protect your device from new threats, like recently developed viruses or potential hacks that have been discovered. That's why it's important not to skip updates and to install them as soon as possible. On top of the operating system, you have the applications or apps. These are the programs you use to perform specific tasks. Writing a letter with a text editor, browsing the web with a browser, or watching videos with a media player. These apps run on top of your operating system, which they rely on to work. That means they need to communicate with the system and speak the same language. That's why each app has a different version depending on the operating system it will work with. There's typically a version for Windows, one for Mac OS, one for Android, for Linux, for iOS and so on. There are apps for regular computers and apps for mobile devices. The apps on your computer are called desktop applications, even though they also work on laptops, and the apps on your smartphone or tablet are called mobile apps. When you buy a device, it usually already has some apps pre-installed. But of course, you can expand this list by searching for new apps, downloading them and installing them. And that's it for today. You've learned what software is, the different types of software and how to install them. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video from this channel. Please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with people who might have some use for it.